What's up YouTube and all my tiny house friends out there. Thank you guys for visiting my channel. My name is Adam and today I have a kind of a probably long video uh, but I'm going to explain exactly how to get power to your tiny house. Um, specifically in this video how to get it from either a solar panel system or to how to get it from just a normal 110 volt outlet. Okay, So here we go. First I'm going to start off with the input. This is a 50 amp 220 volt input so in case in the future I did want some large electrical items like a you know a range and oven or a big old dryer I do have the opportunity or the potential to do that um, in that case you can see here I've got three prongs and a little metal strip here this is the ground strip there's a neutral uh, 110 volt hot and another 110 volt hot okay so this is what plugs into this it twists in there and it locks and there's a guide so that uh, it ensures that the hots line up and the ground, you know, and the neutral line is line up. But uh, I'm going to show you exactly what's inside of this. So uh, this homemade cord that I basically made myself, you can buy this cord from Home Depot. And I got this part from uh, Amazon. It's a Marine Co. RV, da da da, twist lock, something. Anyway, um, this cord normally has four wires in it. There's a black hot, a red hot, a white neutral, and a copper bare copper ground okay so what I've done is I've cut the red wire so there's no way at all that electricity can get to this wire and the only hot wire is my black so essentially I only have hundred and ten volts going into the house okay there's only I don't have two hotlines I only have one hotline going in and so that means I can plug into a normal 110 volt outlet and I can power my whole house I'm, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that but I'm gonna screw this thing back on here Hopefully it'll work first try. There we go. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm actually going to be leaving on a bicycle trip cross country in a week. And so if any of you guys live anywhere between Washington State and South Carolina and you want to give me a couch to sleep on, I would love to sleep on your couch. So just leave a comment in the box down below. Anyway, all right, so I got this guy hooked back up. I'm going to twist him in. Okay, now, the other side of this, the other side of this black cord is hooked up to this little guy. You can get him at Home Depot for like three dollars and if you see this little nook right here this is the red wire and this is where it's cut off so that absolutely no electricity can get to it and um, you know I'm not exactly sure but one of these is hot one is neutral one is the ground so um, this you could plug into a normal 110 volt outlet and you'd be good to go but I have an extension cord over here and this is just a normal old extension cord nothing nothing special so I'm just gonna plug him in okay now I should have power let's make sure this will beep if it senses electricity ah, good to go so let's go inside the house and then I'm going to show you exactly how I did the wiring inside my electrical panel. I'm going to walk backwards. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we are in the tiny house kitchen, coming through into the bathroom. Let's turn on the light. Hopefully our light works. Ah, wonderful. Okay. So here we go. You guys can see the panel. You guys might notice this red jumper right here. Basically what that is doing is it's taking power from this black wire, which goes doo -doo 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 up here, and it's taking that 110 volt electricity, and it's jumping it over to boop, 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 over here. This red wire is what would be the other hotline if I wanted a dryer hookup. In the future, I could hook that up if I wanted to. Um, 
basically but what, what's happening right now is this black wire is giving power to these two breakers and these two breakers and then this bus bar on this side is giving power to these two breakers and these two breakers if there were breakers there okay so um, since this wire is not hooked up I had to make I had to jump electricity across but again um, only 110 volt appliances will work in this house because of this okay now this is probably not code approved but it will work for you and your tiny house okay so um, take that with a grain of salt now all these wires that are kind of coming out these small wires right here and right here and right here those are my circuits those run to you know my different electrical outlets my light fixtures all those you know kind of stuff so um, that's a different video um, but if you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you want to learn how to build yourself an entire tiny house on wheels then um, you know guys of course I've written an ebook called how to build your own tiny house on wheels even if you're a broke 25 year old you can find it on Kindle I'll leave a link down in the description box down below so go check that out um, if you're watching this in August of 2017 it's only three dollars for the month of August okay so go check it out hope you guys enjoyed the video See you guys later. Peace.